welcome to another episode of Luck Light Plays. We are continuing our run through of Breath of Fire. Now, in the last episode, we got ourselves underwater thanks to Gobi, and we found that a ship sunk nearby and caused this person to fall down here, and now he's being haunted by a ghost. There's also two inns in this town. I'm not sure why. However, we want the one with the stairwell. So, I did a whole bunch of shopping. Pretty much outfitted everyone. I got power sword, metal shield, horn helmet, uh, flame shield, horn helmet, ranger vest, horn helmet, poison bow, evil rapier, suede robe, light shield. And uh, I even got him some stuff. So it won't be as bad. He will be slow if I ever use him, but that's alright. So, now we're gonna take on this guy. And uh, he, he's just like the, uh, the last two we fought back in the tower. Uh, he's gonna be using similar tactics, so... Stop pushing that. So we're gonna use similar, uh, excuse me, similar tactics. Except because he's undead, we're actually gonna use Zom 1. See how much damage that does. Zom 1 is essentially your uh, hurt undead spell. <laughs> that works great. So I will do more of the same. Falling back to old, uh, old habits there. Going for that earth key. So it's essentially, uh, what we're used to. Using our thunder spells and nuking him with that spell. He shouldn't be, uh, too much of a hassle. His second wind might be a little bit, but probably hit a lot harder. He's all right. Oh, he's fry. And zombie one. Not hitting too much harder. Hmm, it's lasting a bit longer than usual. So let's cough up another fry spell. Nice. Got him. Alright. And you left a life. <laughs> I'm losing. You lost. So remember, folks, if, uh... You have a friend, or a, an ally, or a family member who's dying, just uh, look for the Grim Reaper and kill him. It's, uh, that works in real life, right? Oops, flashback time. Let's rock. So now we have Ox on our team. Who's uh, significantly better than Gobi. Because 
Gobi is still in it just to get his license back. So now that we have him on our team, we now have six members. But we're gonna put him... We're gonna put him in the third slot for now. Sorry, Bo. You have outlived your usefulness for this moment. Take a sleep. And the first thing we want to do is we want to get uh, Ox equipped. So we're going to head outside. And I believe we have to be on the surface world for warp to work, but let me, let me test that theory. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to have to walk out. Luckily there's a, a place right here we can go to. And of course I hit, get hit by something. Yeah, this, uh, this Breath of Fire likes to put X at the end of names that are supposed to be the strongest version of things. So, Crawler X, Slime X, uh, Creep X, you know, this... I'm surprised they don't put Last Boss X. Anyway, warp time. We're gonna head over to Gant because I would assume that his best stuff would be in <laughs> the, uh, you know, the town he comes from. At least for right now, his best stuff. So, weapon shop. So let's quickly stock him up. I'll buy him a nice big hammer. It's twice as better as the one he's got. Costs a lot. Get him an iron helmet. In a second. <laughs> so I am out of money again. All that money I had, I spent it all on new equipment. You'll notice that he has a. Uh, Zero act, meaning he's gone last, dead last, every time. Which isn't too much of a problem right now. You'll also remember on the last episode, there was this room up here that I said, let's remember this. Now that we have a big guy that may be able to smash these rocks, He does with a swift punch. All right. Now, the strange old man is actually going to be the guy who gives Karn his first ability. Who are you, Karn? Let me teach you the spell. That was quick. So, if old men walk into you, you'll learn a spell. I don't know why they call it the spell of simulation, but what it is, is there's a spell called Shin, and when I use it, you'll see the word Fuse there, and you'll notice that both Bo and Gobi are now unselectable. And you also notice that Karn has a ridiculous amount of hit points now, 435. And you also notice that he is now a super tall guy with fins and his wolf man. So, as you probably have deduced, it is a fusion spell. Yes, much like Dragon Ball Z, he fused with two other characters to form the super form. Now there are a few more of characters that he can fuse with later in the game, but this is the first one you get. Uh, one of them is just an underwater only one, which is 
pretty useless. And then there's two others, uh, one of them being ridiculously strong. And uh, you use this uh, revert spell to, obviously, revert into the other uh, simple thief form. So what we want to do now is, if you remember, there were a lot of walls that we couldn't break that had treasure behind them. Guess what we're doing? We're going to get more treasure. Reason being is they will help us immensely in this next area. So let's go out here and we're heading back into our favorite floating temple, Oria. Uh, not Oria, Agua. Can't be much of a favorite if I keep forgetting the name. You'll notice that he also has the same abilities. Uh, he can shoot faster than Bo could. He can walk through the forest. He's essentially everything Bo was, but better. Which is why I made mention that there are a few characters that I will never use in battle after a certain point. And that's why, because Karn can fuse into them to make super characters. I'm sure there is a strategy that involves not using that and using, like, switching in and out. But I'm gonna go with the method I've always used, which is heavy amounts of fusing. I'll pretty much keep Karn this way the entire game until he gets a better one. So let's put Big Man in front, and he will punch this wall down. That's 3,000. Life. Life 2. And a Silver Brooch, which will resist against a uh, zombie. We'll pop that on him. Also, I'm gonna make sure they don't have any thing on the etc. They don't. Yeah, he hits ridiculously hard now. Also compounded with the fact that I have his pretty much his best weapon, the ice dagger. Which I'm not supposed to have technically. So we're gonna leave here, and we're gonna head over to our favorite cave. I know I keep saying that. The uh, cave between Ori and Bleak. Because there's another rock formation there we can punch down. Keep Big Man in front, so we don't have to keep switching him in and out. I wonder if you still get arrested. Pretty sure you do. So here we are again. This time we don't have to deal with locked doors. We just go through here and head up. and fight these stupid things again. Is it one up one? I think it's over here. Nope. Oh. I was false. You'd think with how many times I've been here that I'd memorize this map. No, not a chance. I think it's I have such a disdain for this place, and that's why I don't remember it. I believe it's up here now. We may go a little bit longer just to get this treasure chest. It's Rather close, and no sense in uh, starting an episode with "Here I still am in the stupid cave." <laughs> I 
So I'll explain where I'm going after this. Uh, I may start there. Uh, after I'm done with this, and I grab this treasure and level up Nina, uh, I will be heading to the crypt again. Our favorite place. <laughs> I need to stop saying stop saying that. And the reason we're going there is... I went completely around. Alright, anyway, yeah, we're not gonna stop here, and I will start you off at that treasure chest. Or I'll just tell you what's in it. Um, first, I'll explain where we're going. We're going back to the crypt, because if you remember correctly, there was an item stuck in a rock that now we can free using our big man. And if you remember what it is, it doesn't matter because I'm going to tell you. It's a boomerang. Another boomerang. And we have the opportunity real soon to have another really strong boomerang. So, obviously, we want to go get that. But it's buried in the crypt. We walked by it a few times. So there's no real reason to not get it now. Maybe we, maybe we can get it, uh, get it going real soon. Being able to use it. And... I mean, a power sword is good, but we want to have a boomerang that hits everybody. And here's the treasure. So it's a life potion and an action potion, which will increase our max stats. Shove them right into our main character. Alright, so, sorry we went a couple minutes late. It's alright. Um, on the next episode, we will be right in front of that, uh, that boomerang, because you've seen the crypt enough, and you probably don't want to see it again. You can see me leave it. So, my name is Lucklight. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.